Well, hi there. My name's Ash Ketchup, and I'm gonna be the greatest Pokemon master. All right, you know what? No, we're not doing this voice. Uh, we are gonna be playing Smash MC and playing Pixelmon, ladies and gentlemen. So let's play Rayquaza. Now, you can already tell I didn't have to go into the uh, the Pokemon selection screen just because I already went through it because I was trying to figure uh, figure out a good server to play on for Pixelmon. And so pretty much this is all starter kit except for the wood, sapling, and apples, and the full heal. But everything else, that is your starter kit. So I'm thinking we could possibly just start building a base around here. And this place has its own, you know, leveling system for doing various activities. So like wood cutting, that's a thing. Like lumberjacking. And actually, do I don't I'm wondering, do I even want to catch a Rattata? Probably not. I don't know. Is it what level is the Rattata though? That's 13? Yeah, there's no way I can do a level 13 Rattata. Um, but there's a lot of Pokemon here. So honestly, we should be able to find a Pokemon that is our level. And it looks like I have found some iron, but there's sand, so I want to be careful that I don't set everything off. So, let's just craft all this into sandstone. And try to figure a way to do this safely and get all the iron. So, obviously no vein miner or any cool tricks like that. And this is a huge cave with lots of ores. Wow, honestly. So, it, honestly, I'm just gonna say this is a good place to just possibly stay. I don't know. We may change uh, base locations later, but uh, yeah, that this might be where we're gonna be staying because there's lots of stuff here. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's way too high of a level. Level 40? Yeah, here's the problem when you play on multiplayer servers, you know. These Pokemon can get overpowered kind of too quickly. Not liking that. 38, 29. Yeah, this isn't looking too good. What about this Krabby? Well, I think this is why they give us the rare candies is because everything's over leveled. Because I think I'm going to have to use it. Let's just get it to a war turtle at least. That's when we'll stop. Squid. Yeah, I think that's when we'll stop is once it's a war turtle. Bite, we can just replace with uh, that. One more level up. Oh wait, this might be it. So, uh, let's just replace it with... Let's replace tackle and then so now it turns into war turtle. Here we are. We're gonna we're getting a war turtle. Yeah. First few minutes of the game, we already have a war turtle. Let's go. War turtle. Works for me. What did we get? A normal gem. So now that uh, our war turtle is now level 16. I think we could possibly, like, take some damage. But we also need to find a Pokemon that we can actually fight through the forest. Actually, don't I have boots? Yes, I do. Old running boots. Hooray. And it looks like we got a big pumpkin patch, so I mean, I guess we got food, unless we don't need to worry about food. I don't know. That kind of that kind of scared me, but not like entirely. But I think that's a Starly or some sort of bird Pokemon, and I really hate this FOV because of the speed from the boots. Not really helping, but I am leveling leveling up uh, Herbalism from collecting the apricots or the apricorns. All right, so this is a Hoot Hoot. And what level are you? Level 18. I think we can go for you. Let's fight. Well, Alright. My first uh, Pokemon battle. 
water pulse and just yeah, just water pulse. Cause wait, yeah, this does the most damage. Yep. Apart from like bite, but yeah. Well, right. I just fought my first Pokemon. All right, so that works. Uh, you know. Cause I don't think a Noctowl can, uh, like we can't ride a Noctowl, can we? So honestly, I'm not worried about trying to catch a Hoot Hoot. Sableye, I know we cannot fight. That's not gonna be a thing, is fighting Sableye. Um, we were getting a lot of materials. We need to find a good base to live in. So honestly, we need to, wait, actually. Maybe I could catch a rock Pokemon if they're low level. Bunnelby, I don't think so. Oh, I need this. I need this. Uh, I, I know for metal plates so we can craft a healer. It's nice to know on these big servers, like somewhat big servers, that there's actually gear. Or like ores that are still exposed. So that I can actually still do mining. Selling a life orb. Zubat, okay, you know what? This is good, this is good, Zubat. Zubats are good. Zubats are really good, okay. Here we go, we need to try to move this out of the way. Okay, I can't really get a good, uh, I can't get a good perspective, so honestly, whatever. Uh, we need something low, like water gun, please don't kill it. <gasps> Let's go, okay, we're gonna go. Uh, Ultra Ball, cause I really want a Zubat. Zubats are good. Come on. Whoa, all right. I caught a Zubat. This works for me. Honestly, Zubats are good. Zubats are good, especially when they turn into Crobat. They have a huge advantage. Because first off, it's a really fast Pokemon. And it can learn Acrobatics. And acrobatics is a pretty good move. Okay, we're gonna head out and try to build a base. Or like a house of some sort, which it's probably not gonna go too well. I'm already a Pokemon master. And I see a Magikarp. Oh boy. This might go well. Yep, it will. Because of one reason and one reason only. I got a Zubat, and also it's under level 15, because Magikarp learns Tackle at level, f or not, it's either Tackle or Flail uh, at level 15, and I just realized Magikarp's poison, that's perfect, so it's going to chip away at his health, and I can just do regular Pokeballs, money, so now we just have to just catch the Magikarp. Yeah! I caught a Magikarp! And I will use this voice every single time we do a... When we when we catch Pokemon, I'm just going to do the voice, because honestly, this is going to be our Pokemon adventure. And I got damaged. Be proud of me. <laughs> but my Pokemon do need to heal, so I guess we can go to the spawn. Um, I'm thinking this might be a good place to just hang out. Because honestly, it has a beach, an ocean, forest, and mountains nearby. So, honestly, why not stay here? This would be a good place. So, like, do, like, is there like set home? Yeah. Okay, this is a set home. Okay, so let's do slash warp spawn maybe, or slash spawn? I I don't know. Okay, yes, it is slash spawn. Okay, we this is pretty much the lobby, so you would spawn here. And they have Poke Stops. Pretty interesting. Uh huh. <laughs> and this is yeah, that's actually kinda neat that they actually have Poke Stops. Slash uh warp Poke Center. Haha! -ha! Yep, that's how you do it. Slash warp Poke Center. Well, let's heal, heal some Pokemon. Yeah, microwave sounds. So here in Smash MC, 
if you want to train Pokemon, you can. You just have to go down different levels and battle a major like a huge set of Pokemon. If we ever get down here, yeah. Here we go. Aha. Yep, level 60s to 80s. 40 to 60. Wow, that's a lot of Pokemon to fight. Uh, any any other level sets? 10 to 20. And 20 to 40. Wow. And they're not catchable, so... Darn. You know me wanting to catch them all. And just go home. And then we can just start building a building a house of some sort. I mean, we can just find like a somewhat flat and open area like right over here. That works. And honestly, it's going to be really hard and just really tedious to try to level up Magikarp the real way. So we're just going to just do this. Let's make it so that he at least knows how to fight. Oh, wait. Am I wrong? Yeah, he did learn tackle. Okay, yep. He learned tackle right here. Right here, he learned tackle. So we're fine. He can fight. Funny how pretty much all the uh, professors in Pokemon were named after trees. That's that's kind of amusing. But I'm honestly good to set up house a uh, house here. Yeah. Now you guys are going to be seeing my really bad building skills. Oh boy. Be, pre be prepared to get amazed by disgust. Dear, oh no, this may not look good. So let's actually just build a crafting table. Uh, let me get some doors so that Pokemon cannot enter my house. It is closed off now, haha. You cannot reach me. Let's just turn the rest of this into wood. And then get some chests going so we can actually get some organization up. Perfect. And honestly, my crafting skills are just going like crazy, you know? I'm just that good, you know? Uh, actually, you know what? What I want to do is go chest, chest, and then drop, and then bam. And then chest, chest. Okay, I didn't even set a claim, but uh, sure, why not? Oh, wait a minute. Will I even have enough? Oh, no. I don't even have enough to fit my claim. That ain't good. Yep. Well, actually, you know what? Actually, I can uh, let this go out a little bit more. Hopefully, no one, no one wrecks my house. You know that that'd be not nice. Um, I'm not. I'm not too stoked about that. Actually, wait a minute. I think I could possibly push this in a bit more. And you know what? Because you know, might as well fill in the hole here and here, so that it's actually a true box. Since right now, that's all it is—is is a box house. But then again, we are playing block game. Best game ever. Technically, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Pixelmon Smash MC. As you know what, if we're gonna do an outro, we better do it right. Well, alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pixelmon and Smash MC. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And always remember, have a great night, and I'm Fantasy the Gamer.